Bahraini activists say that the Persian Gulf Kingdom has agreed to a permanent British military base in Port Salman as a reward for London's silence on its human rights abuses. That of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, Nabil Rajab, said the money to be paid by Manama to build the base is meant to buy the British government's silence over arbitrary arrests, crackdown on protests, torture, and political prisoners. Other opposition figures, including members of the main Shia opposition party, the Al-Bafar, have also expressed deep concern about the growing foreign military presence in the Persian Gulf country. The agreement, which allows the UK to expand its military base, has sparked protests in the island city of Sitra, located near the naval base. Bahrain also hosts the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet. Qasim al-Hashimi is the head of the Bahrain International Mission, joining us from London. Tell us what he thinks about this. Qasim al-Hashimi, uh, I'm not too sure how big Bahrain is, but it's pretty small. Why would Britain want to have a, uh, a military presence there at this point? Well, um, there are so um, uh, many facts and reasons that we should uh, take uh, into consideration. I mean, two days ago, uh, three days ago, sorry, the Ministry of uh, Foreign of Bahrain regime has announced that there are two, uh, two danger are uh, uh, targeting Bahrain, the ISIS and Iran. And uh, he wanted uh, uh, his regime to be protected against those two dangers. Uh, that's number fact number one, which they uh, uh, which they are uh, believing that Iran is the is the main is the main danger for them. And they wanted the uh, the uh, more bases, more military, more protection. Uh, uh, otherwise, the, the Bahrain, I mean, is very small. It's only uh, it's only 12 kilometers. Uh, uh, into 23 kilometers, which is like a village in uh, in Saudi Arabia or even in Iran, just as small as village, really. And uh, we put in that small village, in a, a small island in, in, in the Gulf, there are Saudi army, which involves uh, directly running the country and killing people. There are American base, as far as you uh, as you are concerned, and everybody knows there are Bahraini. Uh, Bahrain um, uh, forces and uh, police, and there are so many mercenaries are from all over the world. The Bahrain is a military base in all in all. It's a military, uh, completely military base. So this is fact number one. There are also a few facts that we have to take in, into consideration, like um, the, 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 um, the, uh, uh, the cooperation between the GEC country and of course Bahrain cannot take a such uh, a step without having uh, their uh, previous approval I mean Kuwait Saudi Arabia uh, Qatar uh, Emirates uh, uh, it's impossible to Bahrain to move towards a such step without having their previous uh, agreement or approval so in, in all as well they are they are also concerned about their uh, about their protection and about their uh, safety from outside danger as far as they call it and uh, uh, in, in between two brokers, uh, brokers it's, it's Iran. Uh, um, number two, the, um, uh, of course, uh, the, the financial, the United Kingdom also is going to take a lot of benefit. And number one, they are coming back to the, to the area, to the, co to the uh, warm area, which have they lifted the area almost now uh, more than 30 years. So they are back to, to the same place. They are very happy. That's number one. Number two. They are getting financed. You know that the United Kingdom is, is, is facing a financial problem. They are reducing their expense. They are they, they, they are even thinking of leaving the the, um, uh, the European community because of their of their financial uh, situation. They wanted to reduce it as much as they can because they don't want to fall in in trouble in the, in the coming uh, uh, in the 15 years to come, which they are very uh, very serious about it. And Bahrain is offering them, uh, I mean, Bahrain or, or the Gulf countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, all together, the GCCC, they are paying their, not only their expense, but they are paying for their protection. So, I mean, usually, for example, the United States has got the best in, in, in Philippines, and the United States is paying for Philippines. But here, in this case, it is totally different. It's that the United Kingdom is protecting uh, Bahrain or protecting the, the Gulf countries. So right. Bahrain or Gulf countries are paying back to the United Kingdom money. So this is also there are a few uh, uh, a few billions of, of dollars 
coming into the uh, uh, into the into United uh, Kingdom uh, finance helping their uh, helping their bad financial uh, situation. Okay, thank you, Basim yes. Al Hashimi, head of the Bahrain International Mission from London.